Lex Friedman is really sad and pissed off and annoyed. People online are taking the piss out of him because of his books. Uh, that was really funny, right? To see everyone basically laying into him for his reading list for the beginning of the year because people think some of the books were lame and stuff and, you know, just generally him trying to gamify reading books and stuff. Even though I did the same thing. I think I read on, I read on my Twitter, my resolution was to read 100 books. But it's just like a stretch goal. It's nothing serious. If I read flipping 87 or 92 or 77, it's still a win if I end up reading those kind of books in a year it doesn't necessarily matter it's just kind of something to aim for but for whatever reason this Lex guy puts way way too much importance on the stuff that he says and the things that he does and for what some reason he feels like the whole world should be revolving around love which is you know a little bit suspicious but this is Lex Friedman um, being emotional about the fact that people were laughing at him about the books he reads it's a good place to uh, also mention a little bit of a fun little controversy that evolved over Twitter so I posted a reading list quickly before heading off to a new year's party uh, of books that i hope to read in 2023 and these are based imagine lex at a party imagine my man lex at a party <laughs> what's he doing at a party what's he doing drinking dancing in the toilets having a couple of lines dropping a couple of pills what's he doing in the party think about it come on man we don't believe you lex just be a dork it's okay and dorks are cool dorks are fun no need to lie on um books that I asked people to vote on, and these are the ones, uh, many of the ones they selected. And they happen to be many of the books I've read many times throughout my life and really enjoyed. And they were, they were like old friends that I love visiting and revisiting. And every time I read them, I get something new. And they, Yuck. they're just read different uh, throughout life. You know, the way in my teens, when I read The Stranger by Camus, is very different than it was in my uh, 20s and different than the, my 30s. I'll say my favorite book now by Camus is probably The Plague. And all of that has evolved. Um, with Dostoevsky, I read The Idiot several times. I read Brothers Karamazov, both in English and Russian. Uh, Notes from Underground. I mean, I love Dostoevsky. And a lot of these books are just, uh, yes, they are classics, but they're also deeply profound. And they move me on a intellectual level, but also just as a human being. They're like travel companions. They're like old friends, uh, old to dead friends. So... Yeah, so I was uh, wanted to celebrate my love for books, and it was very strange to me that, um, and if I'm just being honest for a second, it's kind of painful. That, um, some Come on, man, this guy's a black belt in jujitsu, and he's flipping crying because some people teased him about the books he's reading. This is why people can't, it's hard to like the guy as a person. Don't get me wrong, podcast is amazing, but he's such a lame. You're a black belt in jujitsu. You come from the flipping Soviet Union. You've had a hard upbringing, I'm assuming. I'd assume so. You've seen some tough things over the course of your life, and you're getting emotional and nearly crying and getting upset and sad that people are teasing you about the lame books you're reading. Because they sound like books that you'd pick up at the flipping, you know, at the airport on the way to a holiday or somewhere, right? Oh, I'm going to read. I'm going to pick up flipping this, uh, you know, flipping um, Sapiens book or some bullshit like that. Come on, man. Come on, Lex. You got to do better than this. You got to do better. Some prominent figures that I respect were kind of cruel about the list. And they, they responded, they mocked it and all, all that kind of stuff. And basically taking the worst possible interpretation. And... No, they're just teasing you. See, that's why I, I, that's why I don't believe he goes to parties and has real friends because he's saying it's the worst interpretation of it. But from what I saw, they were just teasing him. They were just teasing him online, as people would do if someone was to, was if someone was to pop out and say, "I'm reading all these books. I'm reading Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, um, Forty Eight Laws of Power." Like people would tease you. It'd be funny to tease you. Like, oh, great. Like, well, what next? Rich dad, poor dad. Do you know what I mean? Come on, man. I have to be honest and say it was... Um, <laughs> He's actually going to cry. It wasn't fun. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I can't believe... Look, to get a black belt in jiu-jitsu is not easy. And he, I think he's got a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I think. I think it's a Gracie black belt also. I think so. Right? It's a Gracie black belt. They don't, they don't give those things easy out, I'm assuming. Even if you're somebody well-known. And he's crying over flipping... Come on, brother. He's crying over books. Jesus. It was just... It, it was just a silly kid, me, kind of in a joyful New Year's mood, sharing with the world books I love. Hold on, by the way, you're not a kid, my sir. H how old is this man? How old is Lex Friedman? I, I swear to God, if this, if this, you're only a kid if you're under 18, I would assume. And if you're under 18, I'm not listening to you in the first place. Let's say Lex Friedman age. Let's see here, because this is already annoying me. A kid sharing books. How old is this man? 39 years old 
is not a kid. I'm sorry. You are not a kid. 30, a kid sharing books on New Year's Eve. 39 years old. You're one year younger than Whitney fucking Cummings. Are you, are you, are you having a laugh? <laughs> 39. As a kid sharing some books. You're one year younger. You're older than Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro spent his entire year shouting at college kids. He could say maybe he's a kid. He spent his entire flipping career shouting at college kids, right? Telling trans kids they're not trans, insulting non-binaries, and just being an absolute menace to the LGBTQ and queer community, right? Doing no good, right? This guy, he could maybe say he's a kid. 39 years old, you're a kid. Fuck off. Like, what is this guy on? Oh my God. And I think what was happening, and this seems to be happening a bit more, is there's a bunch of people that are just almost waiting or hoping that I fail, or maybe that I'm some kind of bad human being and they, they're looking, they're trying to discover things about me. As a fan, as somebody that also pays attention to what people say out there that don't like him as a person, I can say, I get the feeling people are just waiting for him to be an actual normal human again. I think that whole like l love, one love, love will heal the world, podcast will stop war, um, let's get Zelensky and Putin down on my pod and they'll stop war and cartel members, if I get them on my pod, they'll stop slaying and killing their own flipping citizens and whatnot. Oh, sorry, their fellow citizens. All that sort of like naive rose tinted look at the world people are just waiting for him to finally crack and become a normal human like the rest of us the fact that he you know you know bloody walks through the world thinking love will solve everything is really annoying and people just can't wait for him to become normal again because his podcast is great we all love it it gets the crazy numbers the clips are awesome he has great guests they give great good book recommendations he offers good you know insights and interviews and questions and whatnot he's clearly well read and all that good stuff i like his podcast it's flipping amazing many people out there like it it's one of the pop most popular ones out there it's definitely doing great but as a human being this whole one love let's hold heal the world kumbaya hold hands nonsense is fucking annoying that reveal that i'm a bad human being and maybe somehow um this reading list reveals that i don't know uh i don't know so one criticism was that everybody read these books in school and uh, they're basic. <laughs> I think my response to that criticism is no. First of all, most people have not read them in school. Maybe they read Cliff Notes. And they're not basic. They're deeply profound. Some of the greatest words ever written. <laughs> this guy's arguing for the right to read Harry Potter and not get insulted <laughs> at 39 years of age. Yo, man, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. No, they're actually really serious books. It's like, bruh, like, whatever you want to read, you read, innit? It's all good, man. Just read. It's no problem, man. But just just, just turn into a normal human being for the sake of it, please. And also, this, to be honest, I have some sympathy for him, to be honest. I have some sympathy for him. You know why? Because reading books, like I have done for the majority of my adult life, because I find it easy, not because you know i'm trying to become or showcase myself as some sort of flippant intellectual it's quite annoying because you initially you're always going to invite people to think the worst of you in some way it's kind of like when you publicly declare you want to lose weight everyone steps in with advice on what you should be doing and whatnot and usually these ones are the most you know fatty tubby ones out there right and they're giving you these unsolicited pieces of advice because you put out your dreams aspirations out there and books has the same sort of thing it just sends a signal out there to people that you're either trying to intellectually masturbate yourself that you think you're smarter than what you are or that you're trying to like flex that you read books so it's kind of hard people to respond so i get people responding in sometimes a non-charitable way but in general if you are actually about that life you shouldn't care you just post what you read and read what you post and keep it moving maybe as well the gamification of what he's trying to do is rubbing people up the wrong way as well right the fact that you say i'm gonna read all these books in this time one a week and this stuff it kind of takes away from the value and from what you're meant to get from those books especially some of the bigger and thicker ones maybe i'm not too sure but either way man needs to grow up and just kind of let it go it is what it is some people think you're a dork some people don't think you're a dork i clearly still like the guy i love his pod um, but I just think he needs to relax. He needs to just relax. Rain it in. Relax, please, sir. If you don't mind, please relax.